What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. If this is your first time seeing my face or hearing my voice, I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy like myself, and also validate the victims, survivors, and thrivers of said disorder, said toxic people, said toxic traits. We know everybody's not a narcissist, y'all. Today's episode is going to be about how to tell if a narcissist is jealous of you. A few different ways to tell if a narcissistic person is absolutely jealous of you how to tell <laughs> how to tell so if y'all like I said before we hop into today's video y'all if you watching these videos if you watch more than one video y'all and you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel just go ahead and subscribe to it I know people think you just like I don't want to validate a narcissistic person what you do you what you do when you subscribe to the channel is you help push the algorithm algorithm out to reach more people just like this video or this podcast has reached you out of nowhere like how did it i don't know i was searching for narcissist and this video popped up you see what i'm saying it pushed it because somebody else decided to subscribe and like and comment so it helps other people out as well y'all so it's just not you know it's not just about me it's a, i feel like it's a symbiotic relationship to help more people but anyways y'all signs to tell if a narcissistic person is jealous of you so the number one thing i, t I feel like and y'all not doing this stuff doesn't just make you it doesn't automatically make you a narcissist but narcissistic people do this stuff right here y'all no more sign is that they minimize your accomplishments minimize 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 the thing anything you do they make it seem like it's it's a microcosm it's just microscopic you can do something huge y'all imagine winning a nobel peace prize and then your partner making it seem like you got a participation trophy like you came in sixth place and they gave you a participation trophy like they used to do, um, like they do kids in like at the rec or the YMCA or something like that. Imagine you do that, and that's the that's the outcome right there. You know what I mean? Imagine you go through all of that stuff right there, and then the outcome, yeah, you win a Nobel Peace Prize, and they make you feel like you just literally are standing on top of a soapbox in the backyard, getting a a medal, like a, a, a paper a paper mache medal <laughs> for participating. You know what I mean? They will minimize your accomplishments. And the, the reason they do this is because they want it. They don't want you to think that you're better than them. They don't want to elevate you. A lot of times narcissistic people think the more think that the more successful you become, the less likely you are to stay with them in a relationship. Like you don't need me anymore. You're gonna you're gonna outgrow me and then you're gonna replace me. That's the mindset of a lot of narcissists that a lot of narcissists have right there, y'all. You don't need me anymore. So you go so you're going to replace me, and you replace me, it's gonna break me. You know. But you have to be very weary of that right there because it does it does, does it happen yes absolutely it does happen all the time you know they will absolutely minimize your accomplishments because they're jealous of you you know have i done that before yeah yeah i'm a narcissist yeah i don't i don't claim come here claiming to be the fixed or the healed narcissist I, mean, I know my name is mental illness but i'm not healing i'm not healed you know but yeah i've minimized people's accomplishments like yeah that's okay cool whatever you know another thing they just don't they don't celebrate your success. The, the, another way you can tell that they're jealous of you, they just do not celebrate your success. Don't, not only do they minimize your accomplishments, they just don't celebrate them with you. They don't even acknowledge your accomplishments. You know, they don't celebrate your success. They would rather look, they I tell people they they whisper your successes, but they scream out your failures. They whisper the, the success and they yell out the failures because they, they want you to feel a certain type of way. They want you to feel like your, the stuff that you do does not matter. They want That's what they want you to do, y'all. That's I'm just telling you. They want you to they want, minimize the stuff that you do and then they don't, so they, they, they don't like celebrate with you, y'all. They don't celebrate with you. You know what I mean? They don't show up for events. They try to, you know, <clears throat> and things like that. Another way that you can tell that they're jealous of you, y'all, is that they try to center themselves in your success, in whatever you have going on. Whatever, whatever you have going on, whatever accomplishments that you're accomplishing, you know, they try to center themselves in it by making a scene, by showing up, by trying to take credit for what you have done. You know what I mean? They try to take credit for the things that you have accomplished and just say, oh, you wouldn't have got that degree if it wasn't for me. You, might, you, remember, you remember I dropped you off for your final exam because your car broke down? So you wouldn't have the degree if it wasn't for me. So it's kind of both of our degrees. So thank you. You see what I'm saying? They will take credit for the stuff that you do. Like I was just telling y'all, like you, you get a lot of jealous, spiteful ass, narcissistic people. Because like I say again, y'all, it's all this all stems from just being shame. Just shame, y'all. Shame is just crazy in the world of narcissists, y'all. Shame is one of the great it's a I always say shame is a great provocation for narcissists. 
but you see it y'all you see it like to avoid shame and for to to make us to make ourselves feel like we are doing more they we we have to do we have to just minimize other people it's crazy y'all i don't want to feel ashamed of myself so i need to make you i need to make you feel worse you know what i mean i need to make you feel worse and I, you know another way you can tell if you're nar that narcissistic person you're dealing with is jealousy they try to humble you they try to humble you. Narcissistic people will try to humble you to make them pick. They will try to humble you to pick themselves up. You see what I'm saying? In order to pick, to, to, uh, in order to pick myself up, I need to humble you. That's the mindset that a lot of narcissistic people have right there, y'all. In order to pick myself up, I need to humble you. And I know that I said that it happens all, y'all. It happens so much when you're dealing with. Uh, narcissistic people they just that's just what how it goes like in order to do what i need to do i have to humble you in order to pick myself up i have to humble you you know what I mean i have to the narcissistic person there's jealousy of you or will also compete with you y'all they will compete with you why would why not why not let's compete you know what i mean let's just compete let's go into it's, it's a competition they want to compete with you on every every turn of the way y'all every turn of the way they want to compete with you they just do. That's one of the things that comes along. Yo, this come, uh, yo, I know it sucks, but this kind of comes with the territory right here, y'all. I know it sucks, but this kind of comes comes with the territory. We deal with narcissistic, toxic ass people. They will absolutely compete with you. You know what I mean? They don't want to celebrate you. They don't want to work with you. They will compete with you. They don't want to be. They don't want to be partners with you. They want to take full credit for everything. You know what I mean? They want to make you feel like you're not doing as much. You know that's what I'm just saying. You know. <clears throat> And another way y'all to tell if that narcissistic person that you're dealing with is jealous of you, they intentionally try to sabotage you or hold you back. That might be that might be the toughest one right there. Yes, y'all, it is intentional. People don't if people if somebody is going out of their way, like that if you the night before a big test or something that you have to do, the night before you have to catch a flight somewhere else, something important, they start an argument. They make a big big ass fuss out of nothing. You know what I mean? They try to have you screaming and crying. They want you to react. They don't let you study. They want you to. They, they wanna. They wanna keep you up all times of night, right? They wanna keep you up at night throughout. They wanna keep you up throughout the entirety of the night, in order to. They wanna keep you up throughout the entirety of the night, in order in order to just ruin ruin what you have going on. They are trying to sabotage you, y'all. And yes, yes, yes. Do not let people lie to you. Just say, oh no, it's not on, it's not on purpose, y'all. It is absolutely. 1,000% on purpose. It is. It is absolutely 1,000, 1 million percent absolutely on, on purpose. Don't let anybody else convince you otherwise. I know people are just like, well, Lee, it, it's not on purpose. It's not intentional. They don't, they can't control it. If you watch another self-aware narcissist channel and they tell you that, that it's not intentional, they are lying to you. They are trying to play the victim. They are lying to you. They're trying to manipulate you into feeling sorry for them. Do not do that. Do not fall for that. I'm the, I, I am... I am one of the only self-aware narcissists. There's Ben Taylor. He, he's not in victim mode. Um, I don't think Sam uh, Sam Vagnon. I don't watch their stuff a, a lot. Sam Vagnon and AC Tudor. I don't. I don't think that they're in victim mode. But, but a lot of other self-aware narcissist channels are absolutely in victim mode. Don't let them convince you. Oh no, no, they don't do it on purpose. I don't. I never done it on purpose before. So the, in the, 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 yeah, I'm just telling you, be very wary of who you follow. But that's just how it goes, y'all. Narcissistic people will be jealous of your success. Those are a few different ways to tell if they're jealous of your success, y'all. Um, but again, y'all, this episode is short and sweet to the point, y'all. If you haven't already, hop over to Amazon. Check out my self-love journal. And if you made it this far or you haven't subscribed, ask yourself, what are you doing? Are you jealous? No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> ask yourself, what am I doing? Subscribe. Help me out, y'all. Help, help me help more people. But anyways, y'all, thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe for more. But to him, this is out. Peace.